Tuesday, November 27th was Giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday is an internationally celebrated day of giving that kicks off the holiday season by promoting the spirit of giving. This week on Trendspotting, we review the many activities and organizations that made this Giving Tuesday one to remember. The day started off with the legislature signing a resolution officially recognizing the day as an official day of giving. KUM staff were on hand for the event with various members of the Guam legislature at the Guam Congress building in Hakatne. As is our yearly tradition at KUAM, staff visited St. Dominic's Senior Care Home and entertained them with our angelic voices and renditions of traditional Christmas tunes. We aren't sure who had more fun, the guests or the performers. Throughout the day, various people stopped by our pop-up drive through outside the KUAM offices to drop off goods and supplies for the victims of Typhoon YouTube. Thanks to your generous donations, recovery for our friends in Tinian and Saipan will be just a bit easier. Most of our staff spent their lunch serving meals for the homeless at Guma San Jose. This wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for the kind donations from Kentucky Fried Chicken, McDonald's, Jamaican Grill, Pika's Cafe, Papa John's, and the Cold Stone Creamery. Thank you for all your wonderful support. We are sure that the people have both their bellies and hearts full. Giving Tuesday is about caring for all living beings, including our four-legged friends. Victorious Mariah and Michelle helped deliver some pet food and supplies to the good folks at the Guam Animals in Need. But that's not the only way you can help them. Visit Gain in Jigo and adopt a shelter pet today. Our very own Joan Uggen Charferis dropped off Christmas decorations on behalf of KUAM to the Ali Shelter. The shelter provides housing for women who are victims of domestic abuse and violence. If they say you can judge the success of the future on the actions of our youth, then we'd say that we are in pretty good hands. Many schools help provide toys, canned food, medical supplies, and other items for those in need. Mount Carmel continued their yearly tradition by providing a van full of toys for the less fortunate. Atacao Elementary donated three SUVs full of canned goods as part of their YouTube relief effort. Angel Blaza's Southern High School class continued their yearly tradition by also providing many canned goods. Mrs. Manajero's class at Upi Elementary provided a variety of toys for the Toys for Tots charity. BP Carbolito gathered supplies for Guma Ginefilia's Dementia Daycare, an elderly daycare for people who are frail and diagnosed with dementia. Finnegan Elementary School provided 363 canned goods to go directly to Kamalan Karadak. Great job, everyone.